Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's I'm Beowulf, back at it with another video. So today, I was out in my Yamaha GP 1800R in the Atlantic Ocean in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. I've been meaning to make this video for the last couple of weeks. I've been sick, and I'm finally making it. It's kind of like, I want to say it's, it's, it's old, like a week or two old news, but it's most people won't even know in the news that it happened. First, let me get some stuff. I've talked about, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, a, a fair amount of great white sharks riding in the Atlantic Ocean. Some close up, some really far away. It's, I'll roll a clip right here. Uh, this is from a, a group that I found on TikTok. So on TikTok, there's this group called Outcast Fishing. They're catching and tagging great white sharks in South Carolina. So I found them just scrolling through TikTok. I'm on there doing videos. I am underscore Beowulf. But they post this clip of this great white shark that is like huge great white shark right next to shore. And that's if you watch the videos when I take the, my dogs to the beach, you can tell right it, like as soon as you go out, it drastically drops really fast. And this is where a prime spot of how sharks hunt Sometimes they're up far and sometimes they're like right on the shoreline because if you've seen videos where you've seen bait fish coming close to shore, super close to shore, it means a shark or another fish is chasing them. So I'll roll the clip with that. Yeah, so that, that's crazy. So they're pretty cool stuff on there. Check them out. But what happened um, on, let's see, the date was January 16, 2021 at 7.30 a.m. Right off the coast between Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach, Mahone, the largest tag great white shark on the East Coast, pink. Now the sharks, what they do, a lot of people aren't aware of, is when the water gets super cold up north, let's say like New York, uh, Nova Scotia, Canada, you know, they basically go up there in the summer, then once the water gets cold, some still stay in that area and a majority of the great white sharks migrate all the way down to Florida and then even a little bit farther. The females are known to what, and it's from what, from what I've gotten is the females are the only ones that then go around the whole lower end of Florida and then go up in the Gulf of Mexico. They don't know if they're out there to uh, have their babies, whatnot, but that's what goes on. So it's kind of shocking just how many great white sharks are out there. So when you think when you see one tag great white shark, that means there are hundreds more out there, which before anybody gets all in a panic, like, oh, hey, you know, first, when you're going in the ocean swimming, you shouldn't be scared of them because it's the same as if you lived in the center of the United States, like the Rocky Mountains, areas where you know there's grizzly bear, like let's say Yellowstone State Park, for example, would be the best one. You go in there knowing that there's grizzly bear. So if something happens, you knew, and you're going to their habitat. The same as the ocean is their habitat. We don't live in the ocean, they live in the ocean. The same as if you went to like in the mountains in California, there's mountain lion. Well, they shouldn't, it's, we're not the problem. It's the, it's the mountain lion's home. When you go there, you should be aware that something might happen. And you know, vice versa, anywhere where there's large predators. I've seen posts where I've talked about before, if you're like, there's no sharks, there's no great white sharks here. And it's just, you need to be aware of your surrounding. It was funny today when I was riding at the end, some guy came up talking to me and somehow we got in subject about the sharks and he's like not aware of what's out there. And it's like, there's stuff out here that could eat you. Does it happen all the time? No, you gotta be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, when you're out there, um, I've had some like really close calls with twice with great white sharks out there. And then if you see that clip, how it looks close to shore, 
that's what people think when you're out there. It's just like jaws and there's just the fins swimming all around. And that's just, that's just not how sharks work. Majority of it, like for example, when I'm on my jet ski, I'm a lot lower to the ground. Then on a boat, you might be a little bit higher up. So your view of what you're seeing, a lot of times with predators like that in the water or on land, they, they're, how they survive is being stealthy and not being seen. And uh, that's one of those things when you're out there that I think I was just pulling up on O Search, and just in the last couple of days, there's been you know a fair amount of uh, great white sharks pinging down in Merle's Inlet, Myrtle Beach, some close to shore, some off of shore. But if you go to osearch.org, when you go on their website, um, the pings do not stay. It's it's whenever the shark then and how it pings is there they have a tag on the dorsal fin. So when the dorsal fin comes out of the water that's when it's giving a signal to the satellite showing where the uh, the shark's at. When they're underwater, they're not pinging. So when they ping in another spot, the past signal won't show up on their website. It'll show the path of where they've been, but it doesn't show there. So you might go on there and that one I'm talking about, Mahone, might not be up there anymore because he might've pinged somewhere else. And uh, when, you, you know, when you go out there in the ocean, just be safe, be aware, and it's, it's their home. And the scary thing, I was watching these studies, they think in you know less than 30 years, there's gonna be more plastic in the, in the ocean than there is fish. So you have to definitely respect these alpha predators of the water because you know one day they might not be there. And it's exciting to know there's that many, meaning that the ocean is doing pretty good here, which is like a cool thing. Um, and I just figured to share this because I, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's neat every time going in there, a couple of times where I've gone on the stand up jet ski, uh, not far where I was, a, a great white shark ping that day. It's kind of one of those things when you're out there riding, like today when I was riding out there, you know, you kind of think about it. And there is video of when, um, uh, probably should roll the clip of this. Right off the, the right of Greg there now in that park. Whoa, holy crap. It dove right out of the water. You see that? Man. Did you see that? Get that on a boat. It was what? right up. It this, opened his mouth right at my feet. This thing was running. Did you, Did you guys see that? That they were tagging on a boat going after a great white shark and the great white shark jumped out of the water and tried taking the guy <laughs> on the front of the boat. It's kind of like something out of a movie, but when you're out there, these sharks don't want to be followed. You know, if you see a shark, the best thing to do is go the opposite way. They're not like dolphins where they want to be followed and, and you know, they, they find that fun. Usually when you see a shark, don't follow it. Go the other way, leave it alone. It's the same if you're out in the wild, if there was a grizzly bear, mountain lion, whatnot, <laughs> you go the opposite way. You don't keep coming closer to it. So it's one of those things when you're out there, it's kind of when you're going through the waves, I think when it's rougher out there, it makes me, that's where you're going a little bit slower. And I've just watched a lot of footage of how sharks work. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, wow! Oh, my God! Dude, I got a video! I got a video! And usually they get attracted by noises. And the slower you go, the better chance you're going to have an uh, uh, interaction with one. And I've had it in the ocean, too, where I'm riding. When you're going slow, where they come up underneath it. I don't want to say they're hitting the jet ski, but they're coming up and tapping it. And you'll feel it. Right, I've had an intercoastal waterway. I had an alligator kit me intentionally really hard. It almost threw me right off the ski. You'll know when you get a tap. So it's like you, I, I've known from experience of sharing this. So it's kind of one of those things when you're out there, you're gonna like, hey, this is cool, but it's kind of a little scary. But it's not like you shouldn't go in the ocean. Myself, I don't go swimming in the ocean. Uh, it's, uh, I don't like to have sharks have a bad rep of like there's some, you know, they're out to get people, but you know, if any animal 
If they're hungry enough and there isn't enough food for something, you never know what can happen. So it's one of those things to be safe out there, but I figured to share this because I don't know why, like somebody would be, and I've heard not more than one person that don't think there's great white sharks in the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm like, you gotta start doing some research, man. Cause <laughs> I don't know how somebody would like, it's like, it's like make believe, like it's a, a fairy tale. It's a reality. They're out there and they come very close and they got a lot of them tagged. The scary thing when you go on osearch.org though is on the West coast. You know, they've tagged a lot of great white sharks and none of them are pinging. And it makes you really concerned of what's going on. I just say this article where there's just all these whales washing the shore on the West Coast, pods of them, where they don't know what's going on. And it's kind of scary when you see that going on and then tag great white sharks aren't pinging anymore. And that's been like that for years. It makes you really wonder what's all going on in the ocean. And, you know, if you're out there and you see some plastic, pick it up. Don't litter in the ocean. I mean, they had a, like the deepest part of the ocean, they had a submarine down there and there's no light. And the thing they find at the bottom of the ocean is plastic. And that just makes me so upset when you see stuff like that. It's just like, pick it up, recycle it, throw it away, take care of your ocean. If you live somewhere and you don't live on the East or West Coast, take care of your, you know, the pond, wherever you live by, your lake, river, ocean whatnot take care of it and i figured to share this to you guys of all what's going on with this and pretty much the video is about great white sharks and i find it really interesting it's one of those things that's funny it's like one of my biggest fears like most of my whole entire life and i've always said to myself i'm never gonna live somewhere where great white sharks are because i always thought that i always thought if i something if how i'm going out early in life would be a great white shark eating me i've had that thought since i was I said Jaws when I was four years old. And I've always thought that since then. And then the funniest thing is I've lived somewhere where it's a reality and it's and I always got riding by myself too. And it makes it always a, a little, little interesting, but I think it builds up half the excitement going out there. It's kind of funny when I went jet skiing in the Midwest and I'm like, oh, you could go in the water there and you just, you mentally don't think about it anymore. There's something that could eat you. And then when you're here, you just have to be aware. Like I was in the stand up, so I'm walking my river and I fell off and I got back on. And when I'm making my turn, a, a big alligator starts coming up like a submarine, right? Now it came to look at me. It wasn't coming, like it wasn't trying to attack me, but it came to check what I'm doing. You know, it came up with the bottom of the river to come up and see what I'm doing. And it's kind of one of those things like you look and you're like, whoa, <laughs> it's like, whoa, <laughs> reality check. <laughs> And it just, I don't, I don't know. It makes it, it makes you more want to work harder to be like, we're not falling off. We need to learn how to do this. Falling off is not an option. I've taken the, the stand up in the ocean and I'm thinking about myself the whole time. Falling in is not an option because we fall off the ski moves pretty far away. And I'm just saying, oh my gosh, didn't want to swim for that. <laughs> but I think it builds up half the excitement going out there because you're like, yeah, it can't mess up now. <laughs> a lot of people might ask, what do you do if you're swimming and you run into any type of shark or especially a great white shark? A great white shark likes to sneak up behind stuff, right? You never want to be in the water if you see any type of shark turning your back and swimming for your life. You always want to keep eye contact with the shark or what's going on. Usually a lot of people, what they do um, is they swim backwards. So you'd be swimming this way paddling backwards uh, to shore. You just never want to turn your back to a shark. 
Uh, there are some of those people who actually shark dive out of cage. <laughs> what they do is they go towards the shark because a great white shark doesn't know how to react to a situation like that. And then goes the other way because it's shocking that something wants to come head to head with it and then turns away because it's usually used, to, usually used to prey going the opposite way. It's one of those things, I, I find this stuff super interesting. And I hope one day to be in a shark cage with great white sharks, that would be really cool uh, to get really close up. Definitely, I'm not jumping off the jet ski if I see one. Here, the water's clear, but it is murky. And it's like, they come through so fast that you don't move that fast. It's very interesting um, how an alpha predator like that works. And, and when we got out here, we got, you know, the great white sharks, the bull sharks, tiger sharks, hammerheads. I've seen all of them <laughs> very close up to where it's like more, I've seen more sharks in the last three years than I've seen my whole entire life since I moved out here three years ago. And I've seen a lot of sharks, but I've never seen this many until I moved out here. It's a, literally, it's, I've seen uh, bull sharks in the intercoastal waterway, which is fresh water. Um, it's, there was a video down kind of by Myrtle's Inlet in the intercoastal waterway from three years ago where an alligator had a bull shark in its mouth swimming across underneath a bridge and people could have video. And I've had a bull shark jump straight in front of me uh, on the Waccamaw River. I've seen massive size gators. It's just very, it's, uh, it's like a safari when you go out there. It's like falling in is not an option. <laughs> But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's always cool talking about sharks. It's one of my interests in life. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Also too, I'm on an Amazon store you can check out. That's amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also too, I have a merch store where you can find really cool merch like this at IamBeowulf.com. Make sure to check that out. Also too, I'm on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. I'm doing the TikTok thing too. I am underscore Beowulf. Make sure you check that out. But be mighty and keep strong.